Okay, we're going to have a look at the Hobby King brushless gimbal two-axis unit that uh, people are having trouble with flashing to the um, to the Alex Moss uh, software and from the uh, Martinez software. So here's the unit from Hobby King. And that's what it looks like. So we're going to go through and we're going to have a look at how you do the whole thing. So the first thing you need to do, open up Adreno, plug in your board. Now you need the Adreno Pro Mini. 5 volt with the um, 328 so that's what you need there and you need to go here and you need to go file examples clear EEPROM clear EEPROM when that comes up you um, basically upload it to your board and that will clear the chip for you okay so that's the first thing you do so that's it there hit the upload button away you go you now have a nice clean chip all your firmware has gone okay so the next thing you need to do is you need to get one of these now this is a USB uh, ASP programming device now you can get these off Hobby King they're about 20 bucks you can get them anywhere actually now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using these three pins on this side and these three pins on this side of the six pin connector okay that plugs in your computer that in there plugs into there and that in there you need some pins and it goes onto your board so you can flash it now this is the little um this is the little uh, picture that you see in the um on the hobby king uh, page now i've sort of blown it up a bit here so this is looking at the board this is the usb port here so up the top set of pins you've got five volt you miss one you've got your ground your um, mosi and your um, your set clock and your reset and this is your other one this is your MOSI um, okay so what you've got is your voltage now this is the this is the connector here that I just showed you and this is the little stub on it so voltage goes to that pin the MOSI goes to the C4 pin which is the fourth pin up um, your this MISO this actually goes up to here your your ground goes to here and your reset goes to here so looking from there fourth pin up you put solder a pin in you solder a pin on there miss that one and then do those four pins and that's how you connect it to your um, to your um, to your programmer now off the net you can get this if you just punch in these um, that uh, pin connector you'll find here here's what it looks like here so here's it looking down at it your voltage MISO your set clock your MOSI your ground and your reset so that's that's exactly what it looks like okay now now we'll get into how I flashed it now I went to this side here and I use this for flashing ESC so it's it's pretty straightforward and you do flash um, hex files with it so all I did is open this up and use uh, any AS, USB ASP clone. Okay, don't worry about the board rate, leave it at that, USB. Now what I did is I went in here and I picked up the 328P uh, board. Now it's just a flight board, it's just a board, so don't worry about that, just take that. Now in here you've got configuration and firmware. Don't worry about that. Repository means that you can download something off the net. We don't want that, we want to pick our own file. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick our own file that we've saved in our um, in our on our computer, and that's the one we want there, which is the simple BGC, which is Brussels Gimbal 2.2 B2. Now you want a null hex, okay? So null means that someone's actually taken that firmware and done something with it, so it's open sourced. And uh, once you're connected you then uh, turn around and hit that button there and it will flash your um, your board now I'm not going to do mine because mine's already done but basically it'll take about 17 to 20 seconds it'll go through all, all through here like if you flashed an ESC or if you have a look on the internet at what ESC's look like when they're flashed it'll go through it'll read it it'll write to it it'll read it again it'll come up and say thank you and that is basically it okay so once you've done all that we'll shut that down We'll shut that down, we'll shut that down, and we'll shut that down. 
this is the information I copied off the Hobby King webpage. It got a bit, I don't want to say confusing for me, but I couldn't work out how you did this bit here. Right, so it says that you you upload, connect it from the pictures in the file tab, and then you just upload it. Well, I tried this for a couple of hours and didn't do anything. So I decided to do it this way. So that's basically how you do it. And um, then you go in and you download this, this simple um, brushless gimbal uh, Gowie version 2.2 B2, okay, and then you go into your into your computer and find out what COM port your um, gimbal's plugged into. Mine's into 27, and you do a connect, and lo and behold, there it is. <coughs> the whole thing's working. So I won't go through all this. This is just a video to show you exactly how um, to get the old firmware off and the new uh, firmware on as you can see if I muck around with the uh, with the gimbal uh, card it um, it moves around so you can calibrate your accelerometers now this is what I think this guy is talking about here where he says that um, you know you you use this uh, firmware and um, it's a lot nicer than the original uh, firmware so um, Look, I hope that makes sense to everyone. And uh, if you've got any questions, give us a yell. Now, if you're going to ask where I downloaded the um, downloaded that file from, um, I just downloaded it off the net. I just looked for it on the net. So again, if you have any issues, give me a yell. Happy to help out. So um, anyway, that's about it, people. That's about as hard as it gets.